from because you didn't do anything for religion. You did a great PR sales piece, but you certainly didn't do anything for the betterment of humanity. And by the way, every one of his policy positions would destroy the middle class in America. He knows nothing about economics. It's straight out, it's straight out Peronista com a conversation. Okay, now let's move on. WMAL, Leonard, go ahead, please, on the Syria question. What's on your mind? What, a, what, a, what, uh, what do you call it accomplished? The Chinese now are in the Mediterranean, but the Russians are in the Mediterranean, whereas before Turkey was able to stop them from going into the Mediterranean through the Dardanelles. Now, the Chinese are in. They didn't have to pass through the Suez Canal under worse conditions than they would. They got under peaceful conditions, and the guys are fighting ISIS. What happened now is you have got a Chinese aircraft carrier, a place where the Sixth Fleet dominated for... Yeah, I just said... Wait, wait Leonard, you're repeating what I just said. I, I said they brought an aircraft carrier, and so can we pick up from there? You know, yeah, the strategy is that now Israel has an aircraft carrier on their border... France has an aircraft carrier on the border. It's Spain. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean France has an aircraft carrier on their border? Where? The Chinese aircraft carrier is now in the Mediterranean. The well, where's France in the Mediterranean? So last I checked, France was in northern Europe. The bottom of France, there the, are the two naval bases in France that we use, and they, the... Both in France... Or, 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 let's, not, let's not get specific. I know you're not running for the presidency here. And I'm not trying to trip you up. What's your main point? My main point is that under the guise of fighting ISIS, we got the Russians and the Chinese got into the Mediterranean and now have a base there that they never had before. We would never have... All right, so what, what, is, what is your point? Is that Obama's an incompetent moron and the sorority around them should be thrown out before the country is, is eliminated? The point is Obama... Sh I, it's not only incompetent, I think he's planned this whole thing under his Muslim thinking. His Muslim no, you see, th this is, I don't go for this. He's not that smart. Everyone thinks he's so smart that he wanted China to bring an aircraft carrier there. He's such a genius. Such a genius. No, he's not such a genius. WABC, Tom, welcome to the show. Give us your opinion on whatever topic it is. Go ahead, please. Yes, how are you doing, Mr. Savage? Uh, I wanted to say that the the Pope was a distraction. He's only for one world government, one world religion, and one world's currency. What's happening That's correct. now in the That's Middle right. East is ISIS, is Islam, and read your Koran. So all, and if you go into the Bible and read about King Sennetrab... Uh, please, I, I'm not going to do Bible today. I had enough of the Pope last week with the sanctimony. I can't take another day of it. I called it mass hysteria when I saw these, these massive crowds. It was mass hysteria following a socialist message, unlike any time I've ever seen in my lifetime. Stay in the line, I'm sending you a copy of Government Zero. Gotta run, be back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. So China, Russia, and even Iran recognize the scourge, the Islamo-fascist scourge that ISIS is. And your president has sat on his hands, allowed them to metastasize into this cancer, threatening to take over not only the Middle East, but Europe and then the world. And as I said to you, if you missed it, a, a, a German reporter was embedded with them, came back and said they have a long-term plan to kill 300 million people. Let me repeat that, you idiots, you. You idiots who have been distracted by this president, this media, this government into thinking global warming is the greatest threat to humanity. Gay and lesbian rights are the number one issue on your mind, so you went to the leather parade in San Francisco yesterday and you celebrated. No, they want to kill 300 million people. That would include who? Well, it wouldn't include you because you're a good liberal. They wouldn't kill you because you'd get along with them, right? Because everyone else has catered to you your whole life. No, they kill you too. You're one of the 300 million that they have in their sights. So now we have Russia, China, and Iran to the rescue. While your incompetent liberal government caused this to happen. End of hour one. Savage Nation, be here. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage.
Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Blue Monday, how are you, Blue Monday? Got to work, black or sleeve all deep. It is The Savage Nation. If you missed the first hour, I can't review it because it was one of my finest hours. I've been uh, just chomping at the bit to get on the radio today because no one's talking about it. It's all well and good to talk about Trump's tax plan. I'm all for lowering tax rates for the productive citizens of America. But hello, the election's over a year from now. Leave me out of it already. But the media, like the parrots that they are, that's all they're talking about. Tax plan, tax plan, tax plan. Meanwhile, one of the greatest stories of geopolitical magnitude of the modern times has just occurred which you didn't read about in the New York Times. I didn't. Washington Post, no. LA Times, check, no. So where is the story? China has moved a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to Syria. There is an alliance now between China, Russia, and Iran to destroy ISIS because Obama has refused to destroy ISIS. ISIS has become such a threat that finally, three of the powers on the earth, the United States not included, have decided to take them out. And they will take them out. Meanwhile, Obama has his spokesmouth, Samantha Power, going on television saying that they've actually controlled ISIS. It's unbelievable to me how they get a... Well, I, let me catch myself there. It's not unbelievable. When you have people with limited brains in the media who know how to put on a tie and have a nice suit like Jake Woodpecker, and he's such a stooge that they use him to attack Republicans under the guise of being a moderator. He doesn't cover the story. Woodpecker didn't cover the story. Why would Woodpecker cover the story when the smarter man who runs the network told him nothing about it? And Woodpecker wouldn't read a story like this on his own. Would the Woodpeckers of the media read stories like this on their own on a Saturday night? No, they're busy at parties. Well, lucky for you, I'm an outsider. I'm busy studying these things. This is the biggest story. And what's even more amazing to me is that the president has not been forced to resign as a result. Do you know that in a sane parliamentary system, Obama would be forced to step down? They would be holding elections in the next few weeks to get rid of this character because he called ISIS a JV squad. The United States military has become a JV squad under his sorority. The United States military, sadly to say, maybe it could be saved. Maybe they could get all the men back who they fired and get rid of some of the some of the useless idiots that they put into command positions. Get rid of them, throw them out, purge them put in there for political reasons, not for military reasons. I don't know. If Trump became president, maybe he'd do it. I don't know if the if the, if the United States military could ever be re resurrected from what it won, from what it's become under this sorority. I don't know. But I do know this. Things are happening. The Chinese move a, a major aircraft carrier through the Suez Canal. It's in Syria. Russia, Syria, Iran, Russia, China, Iran have a joint operation headquarters set up in Baghdad to control flights, to coordinate flights, rather, to coordinate activities against ISIS, and they will destroy ISIS. They will decimate them. But what's interesting to me is that, as I read the article in Debka, that the Russians have, at least what we've read, told their, spe their special forces to seek out Chechen fighters and kill them. That's who they want to kill because they don't want the Chechens coming back and causing trouble for them. So you say, well, what about China? What are they doing there? Well, Russia, China has sent their special forces in along with their aircraft carrier, and they've been told to look for the Muslim Uyghurs who have been causing disturbances in China for some time now. China does not want Islam to grow and to become a threat the way it has become a threat all over the world. They've been told to kill them. Not bring them back to the uh, to the to Beijing for a nice trial, a show trial. Kill them. Don't talk about it. Uh, no iPhone pictures. No videographers. No CNN. No reporters. Just take care of them. Get rid of them. That's what's going to happen, and the world will be a safer place. Remember, their plan is to take over the world, create a new caliphate, and then go about destroying and killing 300 million people. 
That's according to a German journalist embedded with ISIS. I said, holy God, Hitler is back. When I not so affectionately use the phrase Islamo-fascist for so many years now, and I said to him, the most dangerous threat on the planet, I wasn't just kidding. I've written about it in previous books. I focused on it in Government Zero. But I really didn't know that they designed to kill 300 million people. Now, who would those 300 million people be? Certainly wouldn't be the good liberals of New York City. Certainly they wouldn't kill the liberals of San Francisco because they're somewhat friendlier toward Islam than the mean conservatives in America. Well, no, they want to kill you too. They want to take you off the planet and eliminate you. They probably want to kill every Christian on the planet. They certainly want to kill every Jew on the planet and every Christian on the planet. And the rest of the white people who survived, they could figure, yeah, they're not that much of a threat. They never believed in anything anyway. That's the world we're living in. And that's how bad this is. That's because of ambassador power. That's because of the sorority. That's primarily because of the faker in the White House. Instead of talking about the dangers of ISIS, he went on CNN and listen to what he talked about in clip number four on the Savage Nation. Listen to this. We can roll back the pollution that we put in our skies. Oh my God. And help economies lift people out of poverty without condemning oh. our children to the ravages of an ever warming climate. What a The fraud. same ingenuity that produced the industrial age. Okay, you get the And picture. the computer age. Keep it going, though. To no, harness keep it going. The potential of clean energy. No country can escape the ravages of climate change. Okay, you get the picture. There's no a monomaniac. A monomaniac is a front man for the, for the uh, green mafia. A front man for the green mafia. That's all. ISIS is not the biggest threat. No, it's global warming. That's all it's on his mind, global warming. As I said to you last week and the week before and the week before, there is more money being made in green fraud than there is in, in, in drugs right now. And organized crime is now in the green industry. They're making more money than smuggling heroin, and it's perfectly legal. The government grants are so big. But you didn't read about that. Jake Woodpecker didn't tell you about it. John Boehner, the crier drunk, didn't tell you about that. Good riddance, John. Take a walk already before you destroy even more. So here we are. I mean, that's what we're talking about. These are big topics. And uh, so Obama says global warming is the biggest problem. While we know it isn't the biggest problem. The uh, fact of the matter is that he has a lying press corps that's astonishing. And here is Ambassador Samantha Powers, a woman who should have been fired, never hired to begin with. The most she's useful for will be running a poli sci department in Arkansas. Listen to her in clip seven with the big lie. Listen to the this. The challenge with Assad, in addition to the fact that he gasses his own people and uses barrel bombs and, you know, that we haven't seen a dictator like him in a very long time, put that all to one side. The other challenge is he hasn't been at all effective fighting ISIL. In fact, the presence of Assad has attracted foreign terrorist fighters. We are targeting them. We are having good success, again, particularly in the northern part of the country, actually uh, blunting ISIL's progress and rolling them back. Why shouldn't she be arrested for this? You know, if a, if a doctor who you hire as a surgeon uh, cuts the wrong an artery, a nerve, the doctor will be, will be charged with malpractice and thrown out. Why shouldn't it apply to lying politicians like Samantha Powers? She said they've blunted ISIL. Now, first of all, no one's using the acronym ISIL anymore. That's an invention of the sorority. Everyone is using the, the correct acronym, which is IS, Islamic State. It has a nationality, an identity. It's Islamic, and it's a nation. The reason they use ISIL is because it sounds some, somewhat friendlier. But that she lies, that they've rolled it back, nothing could be farther from the truth. And so it's going to be left up to China, Russia, and Iran to take them out for the betterment of humanity. And by the way, Obama's line in the sand, the JV, uh, the leader of the JV squad, what happened to those lines in the sand? WABC, Megan, Megan, sorry. Welcome to the Savage Nation. What's on your mind, uh, Megan? Yes, um, I am actually one of those liberal arts professors that you talk about, but I'm actually in the minority, believe it or not. Um, I listen to you and I agree with a lot of uh, things that you say. Um, but I did want to uh, acknowledge a guest that you had a few months back, Waleed Shobat. Um, I believe he was a Muslim converted Christian. And I was just curious to know if you're going to have him back on your show anytime soon and if you think um, President Obama's philosophies is based on idealism or because he is a corrupt person. And that is my question. Well, uh, thanks for the plug for Waleed. He's a fine guest, but we have no plan.